Hello, in this tutorial, I'll be showing you my secrets to color grading photos when it comes to Photoshop. So in this, you're just going to be color grading this image together so that I can show you each and every step that I tend to use, how to color correct and later on how to color grade and achieve the best out of this kind of photo regarding the colors in it. So simply like the video and don't forget to subscribe. So this is the photo taken by Abram Pictures. So I asked for permission to use this very image. So in order to edit this image, I'll first of all correct the lighting and contrast issues regarding this very image. So as usual, you know my workflow. I decide to take the helix down and do the same for the whites. I'll add contrast as usual to the image and take the blacks down and open up uh, my shadows just like that. So I'll just add more contrast to the image just like that. And before I do anything else, I'll simply come and warm up the image because I prefer to edit warm images. So I felt like the color cast from the swimming pool was throwing a blue tint to the skin tones, even the overall image. So you can see where we started and this is where we are right now. So in order to enhance this image to look even better, I'll even drop the highlights more and the whites to the image so in order to enhance the image even more i'll scroll down to my color mixer tab and in the color mixer tab this is where i try to manipulate most of the colors regarding this very image so for this case we have hue saturation and luminance hue is changing a color so you can decide to change the blues to your liking so by moving the slider of the hues towards the left hand side you're making the blues look like a color on top of of it which is the aquas and moving it towards the right hand side you're making the blues look like a color below it which is the purple so that is how hues is going to be affecting the image saturation is the intensity of the color you can increase the intensity of the blues or reduce on the intensity of the blues to your liking luminance is the how bright or how dark you want a color to be so after taking that into consideration this is what we're going to be doing so for this i slightly want to handle the blues so i'll just come the blues and hue the blues a little bit to around negative 22 then i'll come to my hue of the greens and play around with the slider pull it towards the left hand side and the right hand side to see what will work best for me so the way i feel i feel like we are having more greens especially regarding this hue of the blue and the green in the background so for this i'll just come and take it towards the left hand side and play around with the yellows even just like that so that can pop a little bit more so you can see how this is slightly popping so i'll just take it down so you can see the before and after so far so after i have done that i'll simply come to my luminance of the blues and simply take down the luminance of the blues just slightly to around negative 10 then i'll come to my calibration right here and under calibration i'll simply come to where you see blue primary and take up the blue primary slider up to about 55 but as i'm doing all that you can notice that the blues a little bit oversaturated and the overall image looks oversaturated. So what do I want to do? I'll just come back to my hue, uh, rather saturation, and drop down the overall saturation of the image so that it can look a little bit better and natural. So you can see here is where we started and here we are right now. So in case you find the blues a little bit too much for your liking, you can as well come to the saturation and reduce on the intensity of the blues in the overall image until when everything looks natural and a little bit more realistic after that click on open to open the photo into photoshop so in photoshop basically we're just going to be going straight into the color grading i know i've done so many videos about retouching so in this we won't be doing any retouching so just want to focus on color grading so just come the background layer and duplicate it by pressing ctrl j or you can press command j on the keyboard then come to the new layer icon create an empty layer then with the empty layer selected simply come to normal and change it to color 
and after changing it to color, select the, the new layer that we created. So for cases where you have been doing the skin retouching and you have a number of folders, make sure you create a stamp visible layer. A stamp visible layer is basically a magic layer for everything you have done below during the skin retouching process or any adjustments that you have done to the image. And that layer is created by pressing Shift Option Command E for Mac, then for Windows C Shift Alternate Control E on the keyboard. So I've selected this stamp visible layer or the duplicate layer that we created first of all. Then I'll simply come to Select Subject. So Photoshop is going to help me select the subject. And the reason that's why I've selected the subject is because I want to start evening out the skin tones and have an even skin tone color for our model or our subject without having to paint that color out of the subject in this case. So I'll come back and I select my empty layer because the color grading of the skin tones has to be done on this empty layer. So I'll just come to the brushes, get the normal brush tool and make sure the hand is set to zero. Then soft round brush is selected. The mode is set to normal or past at 100%. Flat 100%. So for this, I just want to sample a color on the model skin. Zoom in by using Ctrl plus, we can use Command plus. So I just want to sample a color on the model skin. So for this case, I'll just hold down the Option key on the keyboard. For those using uh, Windows, you can hold down the Alternate key on the keyboard. So Option and I left click to sample a color on the skin and paint over the skin so increase on the size of the brush by using the bracket keys on the keyboard don't mind if at all or in case the color is looking a little bit too much because we are going to color grade the image to look better and more realistic because that is what we're focusing more on in this kind of uh, tutorial or in this kind of video so ensure that you zoom all the way in by using Ctrl plus or you can use Command plus on the keyboard to ensure or make sure that every single area that contains uh, the skin has been painted. So you can see by just doing this, every area is going to be having this very color and it tends to remove any color cast or color inconsistencies regarding the skin tones of our subject. So. I'll just come right here and also paint. I'll come to the second hand or arm, whatever you try to call it. And I'll just come and paint on the fingers, just like that. I hope you can see how beautiful the skin tones have gotten to be. I'll go, or I'll work on the face last. So let me first of all work on the lower part of the body before I go to work on the face. So for this step, we just want to create even skin tones and remove this kind of bluish kind of color cast from affecting our subject or our model for this kind of video or for this kind of tutorial. And like I said, you have to ensure that you always zoom in to see or identify every single area that has every color inconsistency so I'll come to our shoes and this is why you have to be extra careful and don't mind if you paint extra areas because we can always correct or rectify the areas that have or contain any colors that you do not want to paint in those particular areas so I'll just come and paint right there Keep away from painting on the straps of the shoes. Make sure to only paint on her skin. So I know this can be, or it can look a little bit overdone, but the goal is achieving beautiful skin tones for our model or for our subject. So I'll just come and paint right there. Come to her face and also paint. And as you can see, for the overall image, we are having a uniform kind of skin color. So keep away from 
distorting the original makeup and only paint on what you feel is that single area that has or should contain skin tones in this case so right now we are almost done with all this control minus and now you can see the skin is looking better and natural you can press ctrl d or you can use command d to deselect the active selection and after deselecting look for or identify those areas that you have not painted on in the first place and you can also paint those areas so you can see the selection that we had was not really accurate enough so make sure that you come back and you paint using a very tiny brush on the edges so that it can look better and cool so right now we are almost done with this process of working on the skin tone so what i'll do in this case i'll get the eraser tool in case i've done or committed any errors errors rather i'll zoom in by using ctrl plus or command plus and try to rectify those mistakes or errors in those particular areas so i'll just come to her necklace right there and get the eraser tool and paint away colors in those areas so right now the skin may look a little bit oversaturated but this is how you can correct that so you can come the opacity and reduce the opacity so that it can look a little bit better and a little bit more realistic to around i'll go with around 70 yeah 74 percent is okay so in case the skin is looking oversaturated for your liking you can come create a hue and saturation adjustment layer come and target the reds and come to where you see lightness and the lightness slider is going to reduce on the oversaturated oranges especially within the skin tones and i'll create one final black and red adjustment layer to add more contrast to the image change the blend mode from normal to multiply remember the multiply blend mode is always going to darken the image so just come to the opacity and take down the opacity to around four percent so I'll come and create one final selective color adjustment layer so within selective color you can target any color that you want to affect in the image so for this i'll just come and target the blacks so to have a more cinematic vibe especially in the dark areas of the image i come to the sun slider and take up the sun slider up so you can see by taking it all the way up you can see it is affecting the black areas or even the greens in the image so i don't tend to overdo it so i'll go with the around four four looks okay so you can even target other colors regarding this very photo or regarding the image so for this let's try targeting as the blues of the image play around with the science to see what will work for us so i just take it around 20 20 looks okay then come and play around with the yellows to see the effect of the yellow so i just add a little bit of yellows before after for the selective color so after i've done that you can now come and add a color balance just come to color balance so when you come to color balance you can even add a little bit of colors to add the mid-tones or even the shadows so for this i feel like we should try to cool down the mid-tones by adding a little bit of blues to our mid-tones to around two i think two is okay two looks great and two is fine so you can see the before and after it is just a subtle difference then you're going to come to our shadows and you can even try to add science to the shadow areas of the image depending on the look that you want to go in for so just add some science to the shadows and you can even cool down the shadows in case you feel like so i won't do that i feel like this image is okay the way it is in this case so let's see the overall before and after for just the photoshop work that we have just done so this is the image before 
after before after and now the image looks great and is popping so this is what i tend to do when it comes to color grading photos in photoshop and in case you have enjoyed this video don't forget to like the video and don't forget to subscribe for more videos ronix from ronix photography thank you for watching and i'll see you in yet more videos on this channel don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating